Oh, wait. Okay. Are we going? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Here for a Gen Z take. Gen Z, you're up first. Okay. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> um. Okay. So like. Okay, like, so what do you perceive to, like, be the hardest part of that being, like, the social media, like, spotlight? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am generally pretty shy to begin with. Like, I'm a very social person, but I am kind of shy. Or, like, I have stage fright in a certain sense. I don't really like... Um, being on social media very much, except for to do this kind of stuff to connect with, you know, nice people like you guys and stay up to date and things on things or whatever. But I feel like being on the internet now is a really, it's just a, a hectic place for everyone. Cause it's so, people are so diluted to, I don't know, like to just, how do I explain? Like everything is is contained so succinctly where you don't get to like experience the complexities of like having a conversation with someone. Like even doing this with you guys, I learned so much about you by like talking to you and looking at you and same with you guys to me. And I feel like the internet is just, I don't know, it's kind of a crazy place. It's like so, um, it can be like so competitive and so about like presentation of things rather than the sincerity of things. And that's not always the case, but I think especially with um, any kind of work that I do that has to do with the online, like just making sure that you're being as sincere as you can and trying to trying not to get come caught up in like competitive things I don't know I really don't like I really don't like being on social media very much and I haven't done it as much lately because of that but but yeah it's also uh you know it can be a really useful tool if you're able to kind of moderate yourself a bit that's like in general I don't know if that applies to like influencer stuff but just in general being on the internet and like having to deal with you know social media stuff I think that that's what about you guys? You guys have grown up. You guys are like my nieces' ages, or like a little bit younger even than my nieces, and they've grown up like so on online. I mean, I did too. I really grew up online, but they've grown up so online that I'm curious how you guys feel about, especially right now, like being in school and with COVID and being being online. Do you guys feel those pressures in a way to like kind of keep up, or you know? What do you and think? Do you want to go first? <laughs> I was just gonna ask you if you want to go first. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I guess sometimes when it applies to, I mean, like you, I'm a pretty shy person. I'm very much an introvert. I'm not at all an extrovert unless I want to be. But um, even when sharing things online with like my friends, I get a little self conscious. I'm like, oh, do I want to share this because yeah. I don't know how I feel about it, how or how it's going to be perceived by the people around me. Um. I've been online or on the social media world since I was probably about 10 and I'm 16 now. So about six years and it's evolved a lot. Like I've seen, I mean, I don't even know, like it's changed a lot and I've grown up pretty much with it. Yeah. So it's pretty wild to see like upcoming, my dogs are barking, <laughs> upcoming stars, <laughs> um, like how people are sort of evolving with social media. Like sometimes you have to be careful what you say or what you want to say, because some people yeah. will take it the wrong way. I mean, obviously in the news, you see like with celebrities, they'll say something, it'll be taken the wrong, either the wrong way or the right way. Mm -hmm. And then it can change like the course of their lifetime or their career. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's the scary thing is like, it's easy to feel like the stakes, the stakes are so high with like yeah. the internet in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, even especially even talking to you guys about the idea of like influencer stuff, which, you know, it's like so easy to just get kind of like lost 
in the internet and lose track of what is your real life and what's in front of you and what is really, you know, like important in life. And so I think that that is like, for me, the biggest challenge of having to work online is just realizing that that it's like a proxy for real life. It's not, it's not real life. It's like a presentation of, of people's lives, you know? So just like staying true to that, I think is the hard thing. What do you think? <laughs> or sorry, go ahead. Um, like the, there can be like a, maybe like a blurred line between real life and what's online. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like, you know, mm -hmm. totally. What are life. your thoughts, Kenzie? Um, I mean, I agree with what Elise said because like I've grown up with the internet as well. So like seeing how like it evolved is weird and <laughs> because like I'm kind of like, I don't know, like I've seen how like people change and like it's weird and like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you guys are also, you know, it's like a, it's kind of a catch-22 because you guys have also made clearly like good friends from being online and stuff so like you have made a really useful tool out of it you know which is great so there's there's pros and cons to to all of 100%. it yeah as much as there is probably the cons which is i feel like what people tend to focus on more there's yeah. also the positive aspects like we're able to make friends and have connections like actually two years ago it'll be three three years ago in august i have a friend who lives in canada when we met through mutual interests, I was actually able to go spend a week with her, which was really cool. So cool. So, yeah, it's yeah, interesting. See, that's awesome. I, so many of my friends are, are, that are now like my real life, you know what I mean? Like people, in, yeah. in person friends, I met online too, on yeah. Tumblr, which because <laughs> I'm older than you guys, I was on Tumblr. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Oh, go, you can go. Sorry, my bad. go ahead. Okay. What's wrong? Uh, <laughs> um, some of like my friends, well, most of my friends, I like I've met them online, like yeah. Elise and like other people, so it's really nice. But like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot. Like, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of pressure. Stuff moves so fast online. Yeah. You know, like yeah, people, you can get like really a lot of attention for something really quickly or like kind of like fall down really quickly. And so I think the important um, thing is just keeping, keeping yourself, you know, contained and like living in your, in your real world. Make sure you don't lose yourself or your perception yeah. of what reality means. Totally. Especially when you like are in, you know, it's easy to kind of get lost in the sauce if you work in creative stuff. Like if you're a musician or if you're a model or if you're an actor or doing all these things, cause you want to, please people and you want to be working and you want to like be liked because your work depends on that but I think that the most important thing is getting rid of that and just learning how to be yourself and trust your trust yourself and find your center because it can get it's a crazy place it can be I mean you guys are are doing it right because you made the stuff online and stuff, but yeah, keeps, that's cool. yeah. <laughs> just use the internet wisely I think yeah. that's yeah you know don't let it don't don't get disillusioned into believing that it's like the real world you guys have made like real world things like actual friendships you know from online but it's easy to be on on instagram like too long and think is my background going crazy for you guys like no, every time i see myself in this camera and it's like Whoa. you're fine you're hey, fine um, do we have any last thoughts or are we ready to move on I'm good. Yeah, I think. I <laughs> okay, so this is our second question. I imagine that being online must be both rewarding and daunting, which is kind of what we were just talking about. Totally. Um, so to speak, have you ever found yourself reflecting on the work that you put out? And if that's applicable, do you still do that? Reflecting on the work I put out. What, can you elaborate on that? Like. Maybe, you mean like my creative stuff or what do you mean? Yes, that. And then also maybe like thinking about what you want to say or what the work, like what causes, I guess it can go towards, if that yeah, makes sense. Totally. Okay. Yeah. Like we were saying, it's such a useful, you know, it can be like a really useful tool. And I think that having, 
an audience to hear what you have to say is like a crazy privilege that you should do something respectable with you know what I mean like you should try this is like the catch-22 where it's like even just for me personally I have kind of have a hard time engaging with the internet just because I'm kind of shy but I really also care very much to like connect with people and inspire people and put something positive into the world and and you know I feel like all of your all of your decisions have consequences either good or bad and so it's important to you know do things that like expand into good things into the world so the internet is again it's like an awesome tool if you know how to how to use it right yeah i have yeah i get in my head sometimes because it's like i wish actually that i like i don't know i i on one hand i wish that i could be could have like an easier time relating to the internet so that i could really like you know use my platform for good or or whatever but i think that it's also important to be you know true to yourself but yeah i i do i do consider what i what i share and i like to share things that i think either it can be as simple as something that just you know makes my my day better like if it's a song or something um but yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's cool i like that response a lot did that make um, sense to your question? I don't know. <laughs> no, it did. You're, you're good. You're, don't worry, it makes sense. <laughs> um, in terms of how that applies to my life, I get kind of nervous when I share things online, whether it's like pictures. Yeah. Myself or if I'm with my friends or anything. Um, I like to use my platform for good, even though it's pretty small. Um, I like to share um, resources for how we can help problems that are going on in the world, like resources for LGBTQ plus youth, resources for anyone who's struggling, really. And then I like to share things that mean a lot to me, like maybe my friends did something that was exciting or important to them, or maybe that I'm going to like a concert, or I just like to share music. You know, I love sharing music and my creativity. Like I'm a writer. I want to go to college and study English so I can write. So I like to share like my writing, other people's writing, that kind of thing. But sometimes I reflect on it and I'm like, is this going to get perceived well? Or am I really even going to perceive it well myself? Because I'm very self-critical. Totally. Like Me too. So. Um, sure, me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, I mean, I'm very much still working on not being self-critical, but it's a process, honestly. For sure. Yeah. Really. It's hard not to be self-critical, especially like I'm saying, when you're on the internet, you see all these people like a hundred percent. Like you like weigh yourself. It's so easy to kind of like weigh yourself against other people because you're constantly looking at what other people are doing and like mm -hmm. you know, the number attached to like how much people like them, if they have like likes or followers or whatever. So it's that's what I'm saying. It's really important to it's hard not to be self-critical. To add on to that, totally. Um, yeah. To add on to that, I want to say that, like, I'll see girls, boys, people my age that are posting pictures where they're like wearing these like skin tight clothing and like they're all, they seem to look confident. I'm like, oh my God, I wish I could be like you. Hmm. But, but I know that maybe they're behind those pictures, like, I don't know if I should post this or I don't know, like, you know, how do I look or whatever? Sure. You know. So I'm like, I want to be yeah, more like, like a kind of see online, like even. Sorry, go ahead. Um, sorry. You. Um, I was going to say, like, I'll want to be like people that I'll see online, whether that be my friends or even you, like, I'll be like, but he has his own story. He's got his thing going on. He's shy. I understand that. And I get that. So, yeah, yeah it's hard to not you be myself. And like my mom is like, you need to not say these things. But I'm like, I'm trying, but it's not exactly that easy. Not it's also it. something that is like so of your guys' age and like into your early 20s like you're so when you're when you're in your teenage years and like your early 20s you're so pressured to understand your identity and like know who you are and know what you're about and like 
be confident in it and go get it and all these things. And I feel like for me, at least, that is just so unrealistic. You have to relax into your life and like allow yourself the space to learn about yourself in a way that you then can become confident in who you are and what you have to say. And, you know, in a lot of people who share all these things online, like who may seem really confident and they may seem like, I don't know, they're, they're so bold wearing these clothes or whatever. Like yeah. maybe those people are wearing the bold things or doing those things for not always. Some people are just like confident and want to show off, which is awesome. But some, sometimes people do that to also get validation. Like a lot of the internet is about getting other people's approval. And that's why I think it can be really dangerous. And like, again, it can be really cool. Like you can connect with amazing people and be inspired and inspire other people. And at least it, I remember one point from something that you were saying about like your platform being small. Sometimes that is more impactful than having a big platform. Like meaning more to fewer people I think ultimately is is more important than like meaning a little bit to a lot of people. Do you know um, what I mean? Yes. You like, know, because when you actually, ha you know, have people that follow you that you know, and you follow them and, and whatever, you, you have a personal connection with those people where what you say actually really matters. Yeah. You know, maybe more so than having a big platform full of, not strangers, but you know, people that don't really know you, so. Mm -hmm. I don't think you should ever underestimate that you could totally do something amazing with your platform. And nice. you do. You bring you guys bring a lot of joy into the world. You bring a lot of joy into my life with like no, I'm <laughs> serious. Like even like the birthday things that you guys like you guys are so sweet. I'm so excited to do this with you and you guys have, you know, inspired me to inspire or try my best to inspire other people. So seriously you're so amazing i can't believe we're talking to you right now oh i'm so excited i'm sorry. my whole heart like i'm so happy oh good <laughs> me too i'm like seriously so excited i'm just you said that you don't know why we're starstruck but i can't help but be starstruck like you're so i, I, I literally am too i'm not kidding <laughs> i looked up to you for years and now i finally get to talk to you and it's like yeah, oh it's my so god exciting you guys are so sweet like seriously yeah no because i'm really hard on myself too and it's nice to know that people yeah care, you know, care about what you have to cool say to see, and, i mean not necessarily cool but like good to see that someone i look up to is also struggling with the same things as me because i feel like that's that's mm -hmm. like not something that we always see you know what i mean that's what i mean it's like so about like i I could if I wanted to, but I'm a little bit too shy to share those kind of things about being self-critical, about, you know, like being anxious or insecure or any of those things. And then what, I, I mean, I try my best to be sincere online, but what you'll see is like me sharing songs or like a photo shoot that I've done. Cause I'm like, oh, I should share this thing. It's not like the ins and outs of me being like, oh my God, I'm, I'm so anxious from being on my phone. I'm so anxious from like comparing myself to people or whatever. And that's, that's the truth for, I think most, people especially young people right now because it's like I don't know. it's just crazy <laughs> super crazy yeah but you guys you know yeah I'm so excited that you guys are doing this too like this is such a cool way to make use of your space online and inspire mm -hmm. people you know that's all I want to do online is use whatever I have no matter how small it is for good for change totally me too that's what life is about I was thinking that this morning it's like and that's what I was kind of to further my point before about just everything has like a consequence. You just want to make sure that you are doing your best to do your best in the world, you know? And it's like, you can do amazing things with the smallest platform ever. You can do amazing things in every personal relationship you have, you know? So, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Kenzie, it's your turn again. <laughs> okay. Any thoughts? You guys, also, you guys don't have you don't have to answer. Like, if you don't think anything about it, you can just be like, okay, cool. No, no your, your answers are so thought provoking. It's hard to not say something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ask good questions. We wrote and rewrote these a hundred times. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And I'm glad that we're talking about it, see, because I feel like it's so much cooler to know yeah. what you guys think about these things. Yeah. Yes. And same it's question so impact you guys. Yes. And it's so fulfilling to be able to have like 
I thrive off of deep philosophical conversations with other people. So it's so, like I said, fulfilling to be able to have these conversations, not only with Kenzie, but with you, because you mean so much to me. And I've always wanted to be able to sit down and talk to you. So now that's happening. Totally. And that's cool. Yeah, I'm so happy to. Seriously, guys, I'm like, seriously, so excited. To do this. <laughs> Imagine how excited we are. <laughs> I know, I'm so excited. You guys are so sweet, seriously. Oh, we love you. I can't so much. Count of anyway. Cat <laughs> <laughs> is like sitting over there, like staring at. Oh my gosh, I'm not showing Ash. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> not even listening. To me. <laughs> like, oh. He's yeah. looking at the trees. <laughs> okay, so what question are we on? Three. Okay. Three. Yeah. Okay, cool. So my co-founder and I, which is Tara, who is busy at the moment, so that's why she's not here. Um, we're constantly like, I don't know. Um, we're like really in awe of like photography and art recommendation. Um, um that like you share, obviously. Um yeah. and like so are there any like thoughts that you think? <laughs> <laughs> but that kind of stuff honestly not i mean not really like if i'm really liking a song i'll just be like hmm. i mean like not not so much it's not like coded i'm not doing like taylor swift like secret secret, you know, secret. <laughs> no um you know it's no with that kind of stuff it's just stuff that i think is cool which i you know I, I like sharing that stuff just because maybe if I think it's cool, hopefully someone will think it's cool. Right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, as far as like photo and music stuff, I think more when I share like my own photo stuff that I make. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like harder because it's more personal, you know? 100%. Yeah. And again, then it's easy to like be really self-critical because you're like, oh, I want to be a better photographer or I want to be better at whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, but no, most of, the, most of the stuff I share, like the music, and stuff, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like just share it because it's, you want to, and it's cool. Like to yeah. you. I just, I just like it. And I think that, you know, that's my way of like trying to be sincere on that. Funny to me how you said, I'm not like Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Cause doesn't she do like coded, like secret notes and stuff when she releases? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes, yes, 100%. We uh, are both pretty avid Taylor Swift we fans. Oh, you're Swifties? <laughs> yeah, we were just listening to All Too Well before. 10 minute version. Yeah, the 10 minute. Okay, I listened to it. I need to like really do my homework because I know that it's about Jake Gyllenhaal, but I saw everyone online being like, ah, oh, we hate <laughs> Get him! And I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. So I need to go back. I haven't, I actually shouldn't say this. I haven't listened to Red yet. But I'm going, well, I've listened to Red the album. I'm saying I haven't listened to the Okay, movie. okay. <laughs> Which is my problem because I'm also a Swifty. <laughs> As you should, though. Yeah. <laughs> we all should be. Mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna elaborate on something you said, but I forgot. <laughs> um, I think it was when you said that you get more self-conscious when sharing something that's like personal, whether that be like your own work or something. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, my hair, I, <laughs> I like to dye my hair. I've been dyeing my hair since I graduated from my last school. Really? Um, yes, because it was private and they didn't let you do stuff with your hair. It's like, you had to have, I had to have my natural hair. Oh my gosh, and then you're like, freedom. <laughs> yes, freedom. <laughs> I, I ran, I did not look back. Um, yeah. But like when I get my hair done, I like to share it, but then I'll take like a million different pictures until I take one that I like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then- Totally, I'll everyone share. does that. Yep. And then I'll share it and I'm like, oh, I don't even know if I- I like don't it. even like that photo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like that photo. Yeah. Most decent yeah. one. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, come on. We, that's, I, that's what I'm saying. It's so scary. It's scary being online. It really is. It is. Sometimes I wish I could 
go back and tell myself to not get online, but then I wouldn't have these amazing connections that I do yeah. when I was sitting here right now. It's totally. <laughs> so, that's the catch 22 with it. It's like, cause even I do that. I'm like, you know, I won't go online for a few weeks and I'll do whatever. I'll go camping. Or I'll just like try to be chilling. And then I'm like, Oh my gosh, but I miss everyone also. And like, I miss, you know, so it's this weird thing. You kind of just, you have to learn how to keep that safe space with you. Yeah. But it, you know, the internet, the internet's also awesome. It's so good. It is cool. Cause the connections like this and opportunity. Actually, like that's this. what I'm saying. We wouldn't even be talking if it weren't. Well, maybe we would be, but <laughs> we're on zoom. So like, we wouldn't really. <laughs> yeah. But I like you um, to I, similar to you, like to share things that are cool to me online, whether that's, I mean, like the second you post something, I share it on my story. I'm like, guys, look. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, um, but then like, I'll share whether it's your stuff or songs that I listen to or movies that I watch or like, I follow a couple vintage accounts. So I'll post like stuff on there that it pops up on my feed. That's pretty cool. Cool. So I'll share things that are cool to me or things that I think people should be looking at. Yeah, just stuff you like. It's a yeah. good way to just be yeah. yourself, you know, online and make sure. Yeah. 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 Like I do the Who, same. What are your guys' fave? Uh, what's like your fave music right now? That's such a, that's such a tricky question. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Yeah, like Taylor Swift. You're loving Taylor. <laughs> um, and then. And right there also, with you. Oh, God um shoot there's this artist that i saw in concert in october at the house of blues in san diego i don't know if you've ever been i have been to the house of blues in san diego uh i went in the voodoo room so it's like the little tiny one that's right next door but chloe moriando their music yeah, is so awesome oh, I don't Rick, know that. you should check them out pretty cool <laughs> i think a couple songs that give me jacob vibes so <laughs> Jacob X vibes cool yes you'll have to send me those <laughs> I'll just I'll send them then if you want me to <laughs> and you're a, you're a Swifty as well yes <laughs> cool bunch of Swifties yeah I was also gonna say Harry Styles but yeah. Harry Styles 100 yeah. percent <laughs> yeah we love Harry Styles mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> what are where are um what are Harry's if you're like a Swifty, what's like the fan name <laughs> for the Harry, for the Harry I think style? It's the Harry's. Yeah. I think it's the Harry's. I think. You guys could, could have gotten a little more clever with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Are we ready for the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, what's one lesson you wish you learned growing up that you learned as you got older? Definitely. Like maybe as you got up to maybe where you are now or as you were becoming an adult and moved away from home mm -hmm. as i was like becoming an adult and moving away from home. well first of all trusting yourself because moving away from home for me was that was like a big thing that i had to do um even though i knew that i wanted to you know it's like just a challenging thing once you're becoming an adult and you're going to school or you're moving out like i moved to la um and luckily I did already press myself to do that, which I'm now very glad that I believed that I was capable of doing that because then I found a way to be, you know, capable to like be an adult in the world. But something that I wish that I knew, I know it's kind of a hard question. So like, no, it's pressure. such a good question. No, it's such a good question. I'm just trying to think there's so many things that I wish I knew. I mean, a lot of the things that I wish I knew kind of apply to what we were just talking about, where it's like, I wish that I knew that like stillness and silence can be really productive for you in general, but even like creatively and otherwise, it's easy to try to be like overstimulated all the time. And um, I think that's just a thing of being like you know a teenager or a young adult you have so much energy but it's good to slow down sometimes and just give yourself like a safe space to kind of think and contemplate so I guess like 
contemplation is really important. That's like a silly thing. No, it's, it's good. Kind of, it's kind of vague, but I'm trying to think what else. There's so many things that I wish I knew when I was um, younger. For one, I this is like probably a cliche, but I really do think it's true that most of the things that make you insecure or bother you about yourself when you're younger end up being the things that make you celebrated as you get older or allow you to create you know good communities of people around you or good work like artistically or whatever it is it's really hard to accept the things that <laughs> what that was my brother <laughs> No, oh, just that it, 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 it sounds like a cliche, but it really is true that the things that you have a hard time with differentiate you and eventually lead to you being celebrated for those things. So to have the patience to like respect yourself as you are, you know, which again, yeah. like is, is, is tricky right now with the internet and like so many opinions and all these things, like it's just important to Oh my gosh, there's so many things, so many things. I could talk all day about things I wish I knew. We have like all the time in the world. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what else? Um, <laughs> yeah, there's so many things. What do you, what do you guys think? What are you feeling right now? Um, have, do you feel like you've learned? Like, I, I actually have so many questions for you guys because you guys are of a specific age that right now I was thinking the other day, I'm like, it would be so hard to be like your guys' age during the pandemic a hundred percent yes you know um, because i feel like it's so important at your age to socialize with people and like learn about yourself and be out in the world and make you know make sense of yourself i was wondering do you guys feel have you been frustrated? Have, feel free to ask any questions you have but to add on to that one, what you were saying sorry to, sorry to like just throw in a new question but oh no you're good that's it's completely fine we have plenty of time um oh i've got all the time waiting now <laughs> Can you repeat your question? I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my question was, sorry, I'm chewing now. No, you're good. Was okay. it like- so let, me, let me piggyback it to what you guys asked me. What's something that you guys have learned? Okay, let's say in the last two years, this is just, just over like the pandemic, is there something that you learned that you think you're gonna carry with you into the future or you learned about yourself? Ooh. Maybe that's too challenging of a question. And no, 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 it's a good question. I have a, actually a pretty good answer to that question, so. Or do you guys, have you had a hard, I don't know how to ask my question. My question is just generally, I think it would be really hard to be I your guy. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm trying to make, make it make sense. No, it makes sense, don't worry. Um, so to go, answer that question, I attended a Catholic private school for 11 years, so preschool through eighth grade. And during that time, I feel like, I mean, I was growing up in the church, so I, I was kind of told, like, this is what you should believe, and this is what's right, this is what's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like when I was younger, I was pretty into it. I was in tune, I knew what was going on, but then as I got older, probably around, like, maybe 11, 12, I started to question it, like not only the faith, but myself in terms of like my identity. Um, Cause like, um, I feel like maybe I was having crushes on guys because I thought I had to, mm -hmm. but I was more, I mean, not looking at the girls, but I was like, oh, I feel like, I mean, I feel like I liked the girls a lot more than I was, like I had a lot more connections if that made sense. And then as I, kind of got to eighth grade and I was turning 14 I was like identifying under a certain label and I was like this is what feels right for me but I don't know if I could tell anybody you know like my classmates because it's a Catholic school and you know the Catholic faith preaches a lot of horrible things about the community so I wasn't I kind of kept to myself a little bit mm -hmm. um and then once I graduated and was kind of in a little more like of a safe environment, I was able to like question myself more and yeah, I was able to 
I mean, yes, ask more questions and be flexible with labels and understand that it's fluid and can change. Totally. But, and like when I was in the church, I felt like I had to identify under a certain label and I couldn't like other girls. I had to only be with a guy or that meant I wasn't going to get to heaven or whatever. Yeah. Um, but now I'm in a space where I feel like I felt like a sort of rejection from the church. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, this is really hard. <laughs> um, okay, no like question. I felt like a sense of rejection. And then, I mean, I don't follow any sort of faiths now. And like looking back, I wished that I could tell myself that it's okay to be who you are because the teachings of Jesus ultimately were to love yourself and then love your neighbor. Totally. So. Totally. That's what it's all about, right? I was, I was really frustrated with myself during that time. And then over the course of the pandemic, when I was, you know, confined to my bedroom and my computer, yeah. I was able to ask myself more questions and then reflect That's on amazing. it. That's so amazing. What, I mean, that's you learned so much. <laughs> yeah, I was oh, able to I, do a lot of reflecting, and then there were a lot of tears shed because it was a hard I'm time. Sure. But. I'm sure. Well, that was a super brave thing of you to even look at. So, props to you. Seriously, that's Thank you. yeah. It's amazing that you already know that because I agree. I think that like those kind of labels are more for other people's convenience than even of of use to you. So when you're free with yourself to just be like, I just am whatever I am. Yeah. A really liberating experience. And that's really amazing. It's so cool that you have already, like I've said, like trusted yourself enough to be yourself, which is what I was saying. I wish I knew. So you're like 10 steps ahead. I'm you very know? much still working on it, but I, we all are. are a lot like, I've taken a lot of, like you said, steps from where yeah. I was at 14 versus where I am now at 16. Yeah. Amazing. You are totally on the right track. That is so cool. Thank you. Up to you, ladies. Good. Thank you. Love to hear that. And <laughs> do you feel like you learned, did you learn anything like in the pandemic times, do you think? Um. Yeah, I think like, I don't know. I... <laughs> I think I learned like a lot about myself, which is really cliche, but oh, um, like, I don't know. I was like still like trying to like find a label that like I felt comfortable with and like, that I, yeah, that I felt comfortable with and that like, yeah. And I think like a lot of like talking to like Elise and like my friends like helped and like this talking I don't know and like it yeah. was weird but like I think I figured it out so I don't know yeah dude you guys are like 10 <laughs> steps ahead of where where I was this is like so cool that's amazing mm -hmm. oh good guys <laughs> I know you had a couple other questions so like if you have any feel free to ask we're here like all day so it's totally yeah. cool hmm. I'll be right back okay. you guys have Feed me real quick Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Do you guys have other questions? Do we have more? We do, we have a few more. And then cool. like okay. a couple bonus ones if you are down for that. Let's do it, I have all the time in the world. I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking about that earlier though. Cause I was like, man, especially, you just learn so much of yourself, like at your age, from my experience, you learn so much of yourself at your age, like, through other people and going and hanging out and like, you know, having those experiences. Oh my gosh, it must be really hard right now to be in the pandemic. And like, yeah. Um, it's, See, it's good that you guys, have, you have friends online and stuff. Cause then you're like, okay, at least you can have company. Yeah. And it's even, I mean, like I have my, not to say Kenzie's not my best friend, but I have a best friend online. Um, her name's Audrey. She lives, I think Thousand Oaks, that general oh, cool. area. Um, and oh my gosh, she, California, all of us. A hundred percent. We met, yes, um, we <laughs> met like oof, nearly three years ago. Also due to a mutual interest in, she's like a sister to me now. And we have like all these plans together, like once we're able to meet in person. Yeah. So 
it's I mean because we can't obviously right now which is unfortunate but we have like a bunch of future plans so yeah. um that's really cool Can you drive yet um i uh, that's a <laughs> funny that you mentioned that um <laughs> i've procrastinated my permit stuff for a long time like i should have had it done when i was 15 and a half but i'm 16 yeah. now i finished my permit reading go me <laughs> yay hey. i finished permit reading so i have to get all my legal documents together then do all my studying and then go take my permit test and then do my stuff and hopefully have my license by summer. Yeah, that's what I did. I think I got my license. No, I got my license and I was like 16 and a half. I put it off too. And then when I was like 16, I got my permit. And that's something that I wish, I mean, something I wish I knew about that is that there's no deadline. Yeah. I thought I had to have it done by a certain point. Like there's I no thought deadline. there was all this pressure on me. That's what I'm saying. There's no deadline for anything. We all need to chill. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. I can almost drive. I'm. I'm getting there. Oh, that'll be so fun. That'll change the game too. Like, so you can go hang out with your friend in Thousand Oaks. Hundred percent. And my dream car is actually the kind of car that you have. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I br the Bronco. Yeah. Oh, I got my. I got that car in San Diego, actually. What? <laughs> No, I stole it from you. <laughs> you stole it from me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Those cars are so much fun. I and like those cars. Yeah, me too. Because I had a newer car before and then I was like, I want to like, feel cool in my car. Yeah. Like, my first car is going to be my mom's Nissan Ultima, which is really high tech. And I'm like, it's a cool car. And I'm glad that yeah. it's my first car, but I want an old car. <laughs> yeah, that's how I got to do it. It's good to have a safe car to begin with because you're gonna like bump it for sure. <laughs> you don't want no, you don't want like your dream car as your first car. Yeah, I'll Probably. get my dream car eventually. Get your dream car as like your yeah, eventually, second or third car. I wanna put these on, but I don't I feel like I look like I'm too cool for school. <laughs> too cool for school. <laughs> He's too cool for us. Can you, do you drive? Oh uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Like it's fine. Um, I don't really want to go right now. Yeah. Also, what's the point? Like, we're all home. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, where am I gonna go? Yeah, where are you gonna go? Everything's closed down. My parents are like, you can just be our designated driver. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like my That's cousin, fine. when we go out, like with like as a family, my cousin is my aunt and uncle's designated driver like he'll literally drive to and from <laughs> so my, parent, my parents are gonna have me doing that as soon as I can oh drive. yeah you're gonna but, be busy but, like what nice is for my parents like when they yeah. got the license so yeah. <laughs> I bet my mom's gonna be like can you take your brother to baseball <laughs> yeah oh my gosh for sure you're gonna be on family See, my, I, my siblings are all older, so I didn't have to drive anyone around. It's great. Yeah, my siblings are way older than I am. Really? So I'm the oldest child here. I mean, I'm the oldest, oldest child. I'm You're the oldest of your siblings, at least? I have one sibling, oh. but I'm the oldest. Your little brother. Oh, cool. Kenzie, what about you? I'm the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sisters. Oh, so, yeah. Say that one more time. You have two? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're on. a little glitchy. Yeah. Me too. Uh -oh. <laughs> it says my internet connection is unstable. Stand by. <laughs> Let me do this. One sec, guys. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that any you're better? Uh, oh. A little bit. <laughs> that seems like no. <laughs> 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 you look fine now? yes yeah okay very right, cool yeah no can be the same i have two sisters <laughs> brother yeah i wish i had a sister i have a brother i wish i had siblings my age i'm jealous of you guys well i'm jealous of you at least because you have a sibling or close close enough He's four and a half years younger than me <laughs> i mean that's close enough you guys like grow up together my siblings are all way older so that's true <laughs> Oh, do you have any more questions? Ask away. Literally, it's fine. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Let me think. Why don't you guys ask me the next question and then I'll 
maybe something will come from that. Okay. Let's well, see. You can... I should have printed them out too. I have. I I, I do have. Them. Okay, wait, Whenever they come fine, you can ask. Is it me, Max? Yeah, it's you. Okay. I forgot. But now, um, during the quarantine period, were there any like periods of time like where you felt like create, uh, creatively? I can't say that word. <laughs> Creatively inclined. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. That was the question. Yeah, totally. In the well, it. I mean, in the beginning of the pandemic, it was actually really hard because. I felt really, really creative. I think from that thing that I was talking about, like just allowing myself the space to, or we all kind of had to slow down and just do nothing and be kind of quiet. And I found that that was actually really productive for me, you know, having ideas and like things that I wanted to make and things that I wanted to shoot, which in the beginning was really hard because everything was closed down and you couldn't like do anything with anyone. <laughs> And also, I'm so ADD that like I'll have an idea and be like, I have to do this in the next day. I'm like, oh, never mind, I'm on to the next thing. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, definitely. I definitely feel like I've been more creatively productive, like in private than, not than before, but yeah, it's been like a, a creative time for me, I think for sure. Like and in tried, private, like, maybe more than what we see? Yeah, I, I mean, I make more things than I share just because of that thing that I'm talking about being self-conscious. <laughs> no, yeah, I get it. It's okay. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm working on some other stuff that I'm really excited about too. But you guys will like that. Ooh. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think for me it has been. What about you guys? Do you guys do any, are you interested in any creative things? Do you like? Um making stuff or not really some people i am really big on writing oh like, yeah you said that's right of course yeah that's i already <laughs> my college situation worked out and what i want to do but i want to study english so i can be a writer because it's what i'm really passionate about amazing and i feel like i mean i didn't take my i mean i've always had a passion for writing but i didn't take that passion seriously until probably sixth grade and my because and that's when my teacher told me that like you have a real gift for writing like you're yeah. very passionate very descriptive so at that point I started to take it seriously and I'm like maybe I can do something with this yeah so like I've taken only honors English classes I'm going to take the college level English class next year when I'm a junior oh, wow. um, I journal all the time whether it's about things that I'm feeling or creative stories even like poetry not the best of poetry but <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> like yeah. I'll write about literally anything because it's like a refuge for me almost yeah that's awesome yeah. that's amazing yeah. and you'll be so lucky that you do those that you have that stuff as you get older too because I'm realizing like oh, I wish I actually that I wrote more and I journaled more and I kind of had those timestamps and evolutions of things that I had, you know, I wanted to say, I think those things are really useful. That's awesome that you're already doing that. I also really love photography. It's something I'm passionate for also. <laughs> yeah. um, those are my creative likings, I guess. Yeah, cool. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Keep writing. I wish, I I'm such, I, I love writing too, but I'm seriously the laziest writer ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can be that no, I really too. am. I'm like seriously the laziest writer of all time, but I love writing. So you're already. I can be lazy too. It's okay. <laughs> I'm so lazy, guys. <laughs> I think we're all pretty lazy people. <laughs> um, Sometimes being lazy is good. That's my point. <laughs> Learn um, about yourself. I, yeah. Honestly, I think like some like creative things I like. Or like photography, like I love photography. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I also really like graphic design. Like I want to study graphic design in college. Um, and that's really it. Like anything to do with art, I love. So you're into it. Yeah. <laughs> See, you guys are we're all the same. Like some people are so not. My mom is like, my mom is like all about numbers. She has. <laughs> 
She's so not like a music or. My mom oh, never so said nice. that. Numbers. Okay. <laughs> mom loves she, math. My mom, I maybe mean, she does. She's like such a like math gal. <laughs> <laughs> no, not math. Not me. <laughs> not me. Uh, math is horrible. Yeah, math. Ugh. That's think- cool though, Kenzie. You want to do graphic design? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Cool. That's awesome. I don't know anything about graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> you have to teach me once you want. Um, any additional questions from you? Hmm. Let me think. What is a good question I have for you guys? What was the last question that you asked me? You said? Um, Kenzie's or the fourth question? Kenzie's. That was the fifth question, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make it. Oh, it's yeah. like about creativity. Yeah, it was about creativity. Is that during the quarantine? Yeah. Oh, right. If I had felt like I was more, yeah, yeah. Creative during the, the quarantine. I have a lot of questions for you. Actually, let's, let's do the next question and then we'll come back. <laughs> okay. I, I want my question to be because something will come up and then I'll yeah okay so what has been your biggest takeaway from like the years that you've been in the public eye and like oh god <laughs> um, what's the, been the biggest takeaway from the years that you've been in the public eye and like you could share like a quote a piece of advice you've given or have given somebody or just general insight like what's been a big takeaway for you yeah I think a lot of the stuff that we've talked about ties into this in like I am a it's funny because I'm a very like social person but I actually am quite a shy person and being on the internet was like or like being in the public eye was a really kind of like alarming experience for me, even though it's not like I was like, you know, super, super famous or anything, but like just becoming, having a lot of attention on me at one time was not, and is not very comfortable for me. So Mm -hmm. I think that being online for me in the last few years, again, it's been important for me to learn how to understand what is my real physical life like these conversations our conversation right now you know like the tree behind me my friends that I have the books that I'm reading those kind of things like that's my real life and online is um people that everything is like reduced to its simplest form. And I think that that, I mean, I spoke about this before, I hope I'm not like being a broken record, but like that that is really not a conductive way to communicate with people most effectively. And I think that like for every hundred nice things that someone says to you online, like one mean thing or one bad thing can, like be really upset. Hey, can I call you back? Okay, love you, bye. Sorry. Um, where's my Zoom? That, what was I saying? That, yeah. What was the last thing I said? Cause I want, I trained a lot and I lost it. The last thing I remember you saying was like how one, like for every, hundred oh, nice right. says like no for yeah for every like a million you can hear a bunch of nice things and like one one thing can bring you down and it's just like so you really have to I have had to really like find a safe strong place in myself to not feel I don't know like pulled in so many directions by by being online um but on the other side of that coin, I feel really, really 
like flattered and honored that I have people that are interested in what I have to say. And I think that it's been such a rewarding experience connecting with those people and like connecting with people. Yeah, based on things that I find really important to me, like art and like, you know, music and all these things. Like it's, um, I've learned a lot from being, yeah, from being in the public. I guess just the most important thing for me is having like, finding a safe space in yourself. I think that that's really important. Definitely. That was like so rambling. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. It went everywhere. <laughs> I think being your own best ally is the best thing. Totally. Yes. It is, it's not an easy thing to do all the time. Yeah, not at all. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was, we have, a, that was the last official question, but we have a bunch of bonus, or a few bonus questions. Go and for then, it. It, we can open this up to literally like doesn't even have to be questions anymore just like open discussion yeah. I can stop recording also if you want um i'm chilling if you guys want to ask more questions i'm it's, yeah i don't um, mind cool. do you want to record the bonus questions kenzie uh that let's do it let's record the bonus questions okay cool. so the first bonus question what are some pieces of art or work you personally love that you would encourage others to look into and why? Gosh, <gasps> there's so <laughs> many things. Oh my gosh, that's too hard. Okay, wait. Um, maybe ask me something more, maybe like more specific because then I'll think of like, even, even if you say like movies or if you say, say okay, that will help me. Movies or music movies right now what are like amazing movies i love oh my gosh see there's so much pressure <laughs> i have so many <laughs> share pressure. as much as you want <laughs> oh my gosh i have to pick like a movie <laughs> what am i really into right now late okay well one thing i recently watched Oh, no, wait, I want to <laughs> Let's come back. See, now, okay. now I'm dry. Do you want to hear our thoughts on that? I do. I want to know what are you guys watching? That's um, a good question. Maybe it'll... A big one for me recently was Spider-Man No Way Home. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Is that the new I bawled, one? I bawled my eyes out. Yes. I need to watch it. I'm, like, so behind. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if you're if movies really make you cry, but I cried like three I, times. Literally, I watched Mamma Mia on my flight <laughs> home recently because I had to forget where I was, maybe from New York or something. I <laughs> sobbed to <laughs> Mamma Mia. I had never seen it. I don't know if you guys have seen Mamma Mia. A little bit. Oh, yeah, like I that. was sobbing. Like <laughs> I had the most crazy reaction to this movie. <laughs> Which is really ridiculous because it's it's. I mean, I love ABBA, which is like the band. But, mm -hmm. but yeah. Anyway. Spider Man No Way Home. Spider Man. Okay, I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> I cry. And are you doing anything lately? Um, I saw Spider Man No Way Home as well, and I uh, cried too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna watch that tonight, you guys. <laughs> you should see it. I think. Yeah, it's really good. Who's um, who's in that? Is it Zendaya? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and Tom Holland, and we won't spoil anything else. Well, don't um, I do not want spoilers. No spoilers. Not saying anything. All I should, all I'm going to tell you is put your seatbelt on. Okay. <laughs> Prepare yourself. <laughs> you get my seatbelt. Yes. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Um. Okay, I'm going to put these on even though. Any other movies, or is there any music? Hmm. Music. Yeah, I mean, a ton of music. Let's see. I'm gonna go. And... What have I been loving? I might check too. We can just throw out recommendations. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, I already know one of your recommendations that I I need to listen to. My phone's almost dead. 
<laughs> okay. Bundle is dead? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh. Girl in Red. You? Yes. That's what I was going to say. I know that I need to listen to rap. Uh, um, so, Conan Gray is a big one, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, Conan Gray is awesome. Yes, I love him. I met him in the summer. He's so nice. Really? I did, yeah. Wait, let me guess. Was it at YSL, that fashion show? Oh, my God. I thought yeah. so. He's so cool. He's so nice. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Uh, let me think of something. I love, I just remembered, and I pulled this up the other day, Stevie Wonder, who's like one of my favorite. Yeah, that's a good one. And he has an album called Songs in the Key of Life. Mm -hmm. And I've been listening to so much lately. There's so many. Mm -hmm. I want to say Stevie Pictures. I love Phoebe Richards. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this song. Yes, I love her. Her song, Funeral, literally puts a big pit in my stomach every time I listen to it. But Which one? Like, Funeral. It's on Stranger oh, yeah. in the Out. Yes. <laughs> my favorite Phoebe song is Halloween. I love that song. Ooh, that's a good one. I love that song. See, we made the right choice looking up to you because you have good music taste. Oh my gosh, so do you guys. So you need to give me some racks. Come on. Clearly, um, we like the same we like the same music. Oh my god. Um I'm just I don't know if you've listened to Phineas before. Uh, yeah, of course. Phineas. Yeah, I love his music. So good. Um do you like Billy? Yes. Oh, my god that's what i've been wanting to ask you forever is if you um isn't your necklace your necklace is a, is is billy right is yeah that, yeah okay i thought so um i've seen her once and i'm seeing her again in april fingers crossed tour does not get canceled oh my gosh i know i hope tours don't get canceled me neither i'm gonna actually die if something happens no. such a bummer yeah is i'm she going to, is she coming to san diego She's going to she's LA. Probably the, LA, huh? Doing like the Rose Bowl or something. Um, she's playing the Forum, which is in Inglewood. Oh, cool. Yeah. Now yeah. I got tickets for April 9th. I didn't think I was going to get tickets. But... April 9th. That's soon ish. Are you excited? Yes. I mean, not, it's not that soon, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far away, which is why I'm crossing my fingers. Nothing happens between yeah. now and then. I think by then, hopefully, it'll be okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Or they'll have like better, well, I don't know. Health guidelines? <laughs> um, but yeah, have Phineas. Have you gone to any concerts lately? Um, I saw Hamilton in November. <laughs> I don't know if that counts. Yeah, my stuff has been so closed, huh? I saw Harry Styles. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't, been, but, I haven't seen any music in so long. Oh like, my god! Ago. I can't even imagine. Yeah. Ever. I mean, you guys too. Well, clearly you're going to sing more, <laughs> more music that time. But it's been so yeah. long. I can't believe we're still doing all this. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I really hope uh, my high school experience doesn't get canceled. I know. I, I used to look forward to high school, and now I'm in it, and it's just. That's what I mean. That's why I'm like, oh man, it would be really hard right now for you guys. But uh yep. You go so do you do you guys go are you going to school just online? Um, I mean I'm only online these first few days because it's like I started back yesterday. Mm -hmm. But we we're only online because like people so people have more time to quarantine or whatever because it's after the holidays. Uh, after the holidays, that makes sense. Yeah, and our plan is to go back Monday. So hopefully nothing compromises that. I just don't want to go back because they gave me first period PE. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I requested to not so have first period. Oh, <laughs> no. I it first period. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. That really is a bummer. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. At least I don't have to swim. And I this is my last required year of PE. When, yeah. Oh, that's true. 
Oh uh, yeah, your sophomore year is the end. When I did, I did swim and water polo in high school, and we had to get up. We started swimming at six, oh, and we oh, oh my gosh, it was horrible. So I would get up at five. We would start swimming at six until seven, or like, yeah, until like seven fifteen or something, and then we would go and shower, and then we would have breakfast, and then we'd go to school. After school, you then go to the pool from like two to five oh my gosh it was insane oh, no. <laughs> and then after that if you wanted to you could do like the, the there's like a club thing too that at night then you would come back for another like two hours oh, it was in i used to want to do water polo but then my mom was like that's a little aggressive so i backed <laughs> off it is i mean it's re- it's a really good workout but it's like it's i might fun. do track instead <laughs> yeah i mean i would probably go back and do track instead <laughs> Yeah, first period. Like, first period PE, just get through it at least. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. My teacher's school. I, I mean, he's like, I'm gonna oh, make you, cool. like, I'm gonna make you guys walk, and you can listen to music if you want to. Oh, that's awesome then. <laughs> My PE <laughs> teacher sucked. <laughs> oh, no. Last year I cheated my way through PE. <laughs> I only got you an have A. To do the mile. I said I did assignments, but I didn't. Do we do the mile? Yeah. My PE teacher said he's not going to make us do it. So. Oh, is he lucky? I, I remember in PE, we had every Friday we had to do the mile. Ew. <laughs> I, at my old school, our track was so tiny that a mile around it was nine laps. Oh my, oh my gosh. It's my so stamina was so cool. bad. <laughs> our track at high school is like 10 times the size. So I think a mile is only like four laps. Yeah. It's so tiny that there's only like 50 kids in the whole school. Oh, really? But, yeah. So that like we didn't have like a track or anything like that. So it was, yeah. Just like running around the school. Basically. <laughs> running around the school, run around the campus, and that's your mile. I mean, basically, that's what. Yeah. Like. My campus is so big. Yeah, my really? is tiny. Yes. You're just walking. <laughs> Hmm? You said yours is small? Yeah, mine is tiny. Yeah. To go off of what you were saying about like, oh, wait, go ahead. the go ahead, water polo and things, like I like to get to school early, A, because I have time to myself in the morning, and B, so I don't have to carpool with my brother. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> mean, but um, like when I'm, usually I'll see like the girls water polo team and like I'll wonder, I'm like, when did they get here? <laughs> Now that you say that, it's like they probably got like six. Five thirty. <laughs> and then the girls that will come to my nice. class like wet hair, and I'm like, oh, they were swimming. That makes sense. No, all the girls always had like their hair was always like so dry from swimming, and Ew. yeah, <laughs> like it's crazy. My hair's dry. I don't know about you, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I got short hair. <laughs> yeah, it was easy for me. Oh. Oh, there's another bonus question. I forgot. Let's do it. <laughs> um, since your audience is primarily young, and like I don't want to speak for everyone, but queer for the most part, probably. Um, what do you think of as the best part of being able to be like a role model for us, the younger generation? What the best part is, the best part for me is hearing like people sharing personal success not that there's like a metric of success but like you know success stories coming out or coming to terms with themselves that to me is like so fucking cool that is so cool because it took me a really long time and like it was really even even more so than i realized until like now i've gotten older and reflect on it it was really really challenging for me to come to terms with myself to begin with and then to come out and so to be a place that people feel safe to share those stories with, like flatters me to know, and I'm so flattered. So like in awe of you guys, even just like looking, <laughs> I don't know, just like looking, learning about yourself. It's like a huge, huge thing. And um, yeah, I mean, there's like so many cool things about, it scares me to even, be like, yeah, I am a role model. Cause I, you know, but if someone, but if someone believes that of me, then fair enough, that's like such a privilege. So yeah. 
yeah, the, the most, I guess that would be the most exciting thing. It was like hearing, um, hearing about young people feeling yeah. uncomfortable with themselves and, and that they trust. I've had people share a lot of stories with me too, where they're not, you know, they're still questioning themselves and their lives. And I, I find like a lot of, um, I, I find myself very flattered that people feel safe enough to share those things with me. Um, so that's like something really special to me. You know. Do you ever feel um, like a question to kind of piggyback off that? Do you ever feel any, I mean, I would imagine that you feel pressure or maybe even a little bit. Um, do you feel pressure to like give advice or does it all just, I mean, I'm, I would think that it all comes from the heart, but do you yeah. ever feel pressure? No, I don't feel, pre no, I, I find, I love having conversations with people. And like, if someone is asking for advice that I, if I, you know, if I have something to say, I'll try to give them some advice. I'm not, if I don't, you know, have advice, I'll just try to, you know, be there to comfort someone. One thing that's hard is like, again, I have a hard time online sometimes, like, so I don't read my messages or check them often. So I don't see stuff. But when I do, I find a lot of pleasure in giving people advice. If mm -hmm. I, you know, if I have something to say, or if I've been through their experience to some degree. No, yeah. I find, I think that that's like one of the best things about being online, actually. I don't think that that's like a pressure at all. I think that's like one of the coolest parts. That's, yeah. that, that's what I think is awesome about the internet. Like we were saying before, where it, it's good and it's bad. That's one of the good things, is, you know, having like direct access to people that um, I, I otherwise wouldn't and could connect with in something really meaningful like that. Yeah. Meaningfulness yeah. is huge. In totally. this when it comes to having you as someone to look up to even like this is I'm gonna get really cheesy for a second <laughs> but genuinely you are someone that I would label as like one of my best friends even though we don't know each other real life at all and like even as like a older brother figure older sibling because that's not somebody that I have I don't have any older siblings it's me that kind of has to be the role model so to have someone that I'm able to look up to in the sense that like you've been where I am in terms of like being in high school, being 16. Yeah. You're literally bringing tears to my eyes. That's so sweet. No, okay. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That is, I'm really flattered that you, that you think that and say that that's really sweet. Yeah. You're like you're literally making me cry. No, oh my God. No, in a good way, it's very, sorry. no, no, no. It's like, that's so awesome. But that's I so feel awesome. really very grateful to have you as such a significant part of my life and I really hope that I can give you a hug someday but for now this is gonna work yes, for sure <laughs> Dude, once, once yeah once all this is over well that's really that's really 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 flattering at least thank you and I'm so like honored that you look up to me like that and care about what I have to say and have found something in in who I am that you connect with because that's you know what life is about and learning from each other i learned from you guys and i i benefit from you guys being my friends even just like online or whatever in the same way so i appreciate you guys so much um that's yeah, really yeah. sweet thank you yeah <laughs> i'll be oh your big bro heart. <laughs> yes please <big> bro <laughs> you have any siblings oh yeah i have an older brother <laughs> he's not yeah. really related to my brother <laughs> ah Aww. oh my god guys ah, you sure seriously you like maybe tear up that's oh, i'm sorry <laughs> oh it's so nice that's awesome <sighs> that and you just have inspired me to be more courageous in a lot of situations too which is pretty cool so it matters you just got to be kind and courageous and the rest Seriously, I really do believe that's like all that matters. A hundred percent. Yeah. Do you have anything, Kenzie? <laughs> um <laughs> what's going on in Ken's corner? Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I don't know, not that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no pressure. Um, I honestly don't know. Like, like we said, like having someone to like look up to who's been in my position before is really yeah. helpful and like inspiring. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. That really means so much to me. <laughs> I feel like I know you guys because I've, you know, seen you guys online and I've spoken to you guys. It's so funny. And now <laughs> so we're so cool. Yeah. Well, now we're <laughs> actual friends. If we hung out. That would be so cool. Oh my god! And the, something that I've thought about before is like, oh, I wonder if he's gonna recognize me. <laughs> oh, totally. Of course. Come on. <laughs> and then you said like, I don't know why you're so starstruck. I've seen your face before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said I, I said I'm so oh, starstruck I, I because I said heard. I don't know. I was like, no, I'm... no. I said I, I can't believe I'm so starstruck. <laughs> I've seen you guys. I'm looking at you guys. And I've seen you before. <laughs> we were literally Kenzie and I. We were freaking out before this. We were like, <laughs> really? oh my god, we like it. <laughs> we're gonna be talking every time. Yeah, we were like, no, yeah. I'm. I get so nervous for things like this. Seriously, I think this oh, is the only... ner- No, this is like the only only video even like interview whatever conversation thing I've I've done I think I did want I remember watching you (laughs) oh my gosh so I never did you were like, I had to throw my phone in the freezer. Oh yeah, my phone overheated. I threw it in. The I still have that video. It's so my funny. connection is unstable, so I just like glitched out for a second. <laughs> I did too. It's okay. I was wondering if it was gonna like come come back to life and just be a camera like in my freezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. that's funny. Are you guys doing like, anything fun this weekend? Is it the week? What is it today? Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You guys have any plans? No. no. <laughs> I wish, but no. Yeah. I don't think I have any plans. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. <laughs> Come here. But always lazy. Hello. Oh my gosh. My Come here. The star. It's Nash. Here. Oh, just waking up from a nap, but you oh. Hello, Nashi. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. The best. Literally the cutest. I don't think I can bring Boss in here. He's probably not gonna want to listen to me. <laughs> really? But you saw a picture of him earlier. I, I did. Him. He's so cute. Candy, what's your cat's name? Uh Cooper. <laughs> Cute. She has like three. Oh, really? Yeah. Cooper, Nala, and Simba. Yeah. Oh, Simba was my first dog's name. I named her Simba. I named her Simba. <laughs> non binary icon. <laughs> icon. <laughs> icon, boss, peeking Cooper over. Cooper was kitchen. my. Oh, my God. So cute. Oh, yeah. The ears. Cooper yeah. was. Um, Is it Simba? Sister's dog's name. Oh, cute. <laughs> so then cute. We have a dog that I feel like sometimes we forget about. Her name's Lola. She's a chihuahua. Oh. She's obnoxious. Why do you forget about her? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you forget uh, about you? Lola? <laughs> yeah, how can you forget about Lola? I did not forget about Lola, but <laughs> Boss got all the attention because he's a puppy. <laughs> yeah. How old boss, is boss and Lola, best friends. <laughs> cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Love dogs. I really want to get another dog. Like when I'm older. Hey, I'm I'm 100. Old. This is Cooper. 100. Coop. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I love cats, too. Nat, I, my friend, Allie, has a cat. And we live close to each other. And she was like, oh, you should come bring Nash over and like, he can meet my cat. <laughs> I'm like, there is no way that that work but i want to say shout out to Allie queen love her queen ally ally's the best dude ally is so cool she's the nicest she's the best and she has the coolest style literally i'm like i want to be like her 
<laughs> Tell her that for me. <laughs> okay, I will. Here, wait. I'll send her. Tell her. <laughs> I'll send her a video. Oh no! <laughs> what? what? Just, say wait, just say it. I want to be like you. You're very cool. <laughs> <laughs> love your cool. style. <laughs> so love that. Oh my god! Now you have that of me in your phone. <laughs> oh. That's so cool. Right, guys, well, I might go start taking Ash out and making dinner okay. and stuff, but this was so much fun and I'm really glad that I got to do it with you guys. And I'm, again, I'm so flattered that you guys care what I have to say. And I am so proud of both of you. And Thank you. Thank you. Of course. And I'm so happy that you guys are doing this. And too bad Tara couldn't be here too, because yeah. then... Yeah. We could all hang, but it's so awesome that um, you guys are doing this, and I hope that this platform you keep at it and keep. Thank you for work. being Thank a you. part of it and for speaking with us. It's so awesome, and we both love you very much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for being what you are in my life. Seriously, of course. And I'm always around, even if sometimes it's hard to get a hold of because I'm not on my phone. But I'm <laughs> always here for you guys. Thank. We love you. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. Have a good rest of your night. You too. Bye. 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 <laughs>